Um, no. Present. Bills. Oh, that's right. Okay. Is this the one you want for that Northbrook? Yeah. So. Yeah. Um, I think it's the same as the other one, isn't it? Or is it? Same as what other one? It's in the pile. Oh. It should be. Oh, okay. Yes, You got two. Oh, those are the ones that you did the surface on. Yes, the, uh, the winter ones. Yeah, the small, that's the small. Gracie's okay. and Donald's. 680. And 880. I have fine okay these things were in the box too I think you usually those things yeah Um, yeah, I've got to deal with some of these. All right, this says that as of the end of April, we had Ten thousand dollars left in the account, and we're going to spend two thousand more, so we'll have eight thousand dollars. And which doesn't please me, but if I can't get anything more spent, we'll see. Well, um, June gave me this. This is what we got charged to our account for gas from from Owen. Yeah, that's so far. Or I'll put that. That goes in the file along with the rest of the papers that you put in the file. Okay. The copies that you put in the file. Um, plus this. Okay. There's the train. That was in with his bill, too. We are. Uh, $100 more per opening. Yes. <coughs> That's something you and Brenna will have to. Hmm? You and Brenna will have to discuss that or whatever because I'm. 
Oh, I can't. Well, that's all right. Um, well, if my memory serves me correct, he hasn't raised that for a long time. It's been, God, yeah, it's been a while. It's been quite a while. It's been quite a while since there's been a change of any sort. And of course, so it's three hundred dollars per grave opening is what we've been paying, and this letter from uh, Roger e. Wheeler and Sons, Paul Wheeler, says that they're going up to four hundred dollars as of the first of June fifteenth. As of June fifteenth. <clears throat> um. Okay. I don't know. If uh, Brenda doesn't come, we'll just have to let it sit till next month. Yeah. So. <coughs> um, <coughs> but we, uh, offhand, I don't think that's on. I, I think it's reasonable, but. Um, we got to think about it a little bit. It's percentage-wise, it's a big raise. Yeah, twenty-five percent. Hmm? No, it's more than that. No, it's thirty-three. Thirty-three. It's a thirty-three percent raise. But we have not had a raise in a long time. I I would have to go consult old records to figure out when. But yeah, uh, it. It really is going back a long ways to, since it's been uh, since it's been something's been done since we've had a, an amount. Um, God, you've got Brenna's number. Can you call her on a cell phone? I don't have it in my cell phone. Uh, I've got it at home, but I don't have it here. Um, um, I know I don't have it in there. I did. Um, I wish I knew when I could know she'd be here and I'd adjourn the meeting or set a new one for when we can meet. We've got to act on it before the end of the month for you. Did you receive papers from the town administrator? Yes. The a new contract? Yeah. And we've got to vote on that. Oh, okay. I didn't realize that. Hmm? I didn't realize that. I read it. I have them. I read it last night quick, and i got to read it again because there was something I had to check on the old one. Yes. To see if something had changed and it was still the same. And she wants to make sure there's a new new insurance certificate, one required, and so forth. That would be September. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> uh, so you've got the papers to sign. Yeah. But we just have to, we have to do an action on it. Oh, all right. I mean, we haven't. Well, we've only acted to deal with it the last year, so. Okay. Because um, we didn't know what others in the town were going to do to us. Yep, I know. So uh, my view is I'm in favor of uh, extending the contract for another year, but I, I want to, uh, but we have to have two of us here to do it that can vote. That can vote. Um, <clears throat> Okay, so we've got two things. One is uh, to uh, uh, superintendent's contract.
fiscal year 2023. <clears throat> um, well, we're already past the 15th of June. So until we act on it, my word is that we will continue with the prices quoted as he quotes it and and we'll have to act on it when we have when we can um, <clears throat> but uh, I'd like to do it before the end of the month and we really need to do the yeah so superintendent's we contract before the end of the month we need to <coughs> well like I said I'm out of work at 1 30 in the afternoon so you know I can get it all done you guys I can't be here anyways for it most, most days yeah yeah well, I am actually every day I'm out at one thirty. Yeah, yeah. But you should. Oh well, yeah. All right. Because um, I have two copies, I have to sign one. Yes, you one for them and one for you. You have to vote. Uh, and we should have a copy in the file when you get it signed too. Okay. Um, <clears throat> Back, I'm gonna make a copy of last year's too. If yes. You uh, my big thing is, you know, we still have things we'd like to do if we could get tree work done, if we could yep. get stones set up, etc. But I can't do that. We've only got a few days to do it in, so I don't see how we're going to do it. Um, the tree work thing I'm very disappointed about because we've been talking about that since last fall. Yeah. And I don't know what, I mean, it's very frustrating. Well, I think they I don't know if the town, they're waiting to get their bucket truck. They're supposed well, to yeah, get that shared, but, but they don't know when it's coming. They don't know when they're going to get it, and we could get some of this stuff done. We could get a couple of those trees taken care of in South Berlin that I really am uncomfortable about. Uh, at any rate, if we can get any of it done by the 30th, and we then we can get the bill in by the 10th, 12th, 10th or 12th, 10th or something of the month, we'll be we can get them done. But I have to get we have to get the work done so we can encumber the money. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, do you have the year end forms? Or? Nope. Well, I must have them. And they weren't in the uh, mailbox. All I, right, I, then I must have them. I just checked it. Oh, yes, I do have them somewhere. I know, that's a good question. I'm not sure where. I guess I better find out. Um, because I had to uh, act on the, the special articles and tell a, something about what our plans are with that. Oh, yeah. And uh, to extend them and so forth. And... Uh, I'll check. I've, I've seen them because I know I wrote in them. Wrote them. I remember. I, remember I wrote them out the here. stuff on the on the. Uh, these are budget requests. This is budget summary. I wrote out the stuff about those articles, the uh, special articles for the driveways. That you know we're awaiting that to be done, and we hope that it'll be done in the next you know it'll yeah, be done well, in the we'll next wait. fiscal year. Well, we're waiting the bid package they were making up. Yes, the and uh, tennis courts and those to try and see if they can get a better price. I have no idea. I, I <clears throat> my understand was they were going for the tennis court thing along with the highway on Highland Street, and that this would be in another one later. But I don't know what's happened with all of that. So. When it's done, we'll pay for it, and the special articles are open for the next year, so or will be. Um, yeah, I did have those papers, and I, I don't know where they are right now. They sh I should have put them in here. Um, okay. Can't act on that. Uh, 
driveways and trees awaiting other departments. Um, that's the case. That's all we got to do, isn't it? Well, I know they're using the water at North Cemetery pretty good, so I was yeah. in there last night, and there's only about 100 gallons or so left in the thing, so they're using, uh, whoever's somebody's up there, using somebody's it. using a lot. I use it when I go up there. I use some, um, I ran a little and, and used some. I was kind of intrigued by the, uh, the valve, huh? <laughs> the valve. Well, yeah, but if you get it carefully, you can get it so it just dribbles, and yes. that's about right. Yeah. Um, especially if it's a small container. I was, I was, I refilled the bottles that they've got on the turned upside down on. Uh, oh, Texeras. Texeras. I was intrigued by that, so I filled them and put them back in again. Full. Oh, the way they have the bottles in there. Yeah, yeah, it is. It's. And I'm kind of intrigued by that because I I wonder how well it'll work ultimately. But well, I, they've been using them for two or three years. Now. They have. Yep. Oh, okay. They were using them. I know they were using them when COVID started. Yeah. Because I was up, saw the woman, and she, I was talking to her, but she wanted me to stay. A yeah. distance away, and I asked her all about him and stuff. Yeah, Brenda, or, or I think so. Yeah. I think so. <clears throat> yeah, I, I've. They were empty, so I filled them, and I was just, I was just wanted to see how much water went down in the thing, and you know, and and I, how, it's how kind long? of interesting. Yeah. Ah. Uh, They're uh, worth it if you, you you don't want them all the time. If you're going away on vacation or something, they would yeah. be well worth. Yeah. Doing. I mean, you figure it's going to take them for another week yeah. anyway before they'll be. It'll, and then if you got <coughs> if they've gotten good and wet in that time, they're going to geraniums. They'll, still they'll be, be they'll go for a couple of weeks with no water happily. Yeah, oh, absolutely. And uh, so it's kind. Of, I was just kind of interest intrigued by it, so I filled them just because I wanted to see what it was like, how the thing worked. Um, and I looked at a few other things, but I. Uh, I don't have much else to say about it all. Today is the 21st. Mm -hmm. 6, 21, 2022, 20, town offices. Um. <clears throat> Almost everything else that we've got to discuss, we've discussed at length before, so yeah. I don't see any reason to talk about it. Um, whatever we don't spend turns back. Yep. The big thing we've got there is when they see that we didn't spend $8,000 or something, it's going to be uh, However, we're going to have bills next, we're going to still have bills at the end of the month. Yeah. You will have a bill for the end of the month. Yep. Um, I'm not yeah. sure how much else we'll have. Uh, I don't have anything much more in burials. Um, you're going to get a bill from Harvard Power because they had to go up and get some belts. Oh, they got more? They had to because it stuff. shredded one of the belts on the old mower. And <clears throat> one of the kids, someone had adjusted it, and one of the other kids looked at it, and with a new belt that had been adjusted for an old belt, he readjusted it and was going to try it because they were talking about it and I went down and <clears throat> looked at it too and mm -hmm. asked some questions and mm -hmm. he explained to me what he had done. I says, well, then see go how for it. it. Go see how it works. See how it works and go for it. And yeah. So we'll have one from there and uh, possibly... Some more, I don't know. Maybe they might need something more too. I don't know. Um, we may be paying that on the pink slip, but yeah, they, June said that's okay. Yeah, I asked her just so we can get it in early. 
Yes, she uh, even they would, usually come pretty fa fairly promptly, but not necessarily. Yeah, they. But she said the pink slip was okay because as long as it lists what it what lists what, what you buy, from. not yeah. just a a night number at the yeah. end. No, it's a statement. So statements are no good. You got to yeah. it. It's it it and is an it is a copy of the invoice. So. Yeah, and that's she said as long as it lists what yeah. you bought and the price. She says that's okay. I says okay. Um. All right. Um, so we, we we will spend some more. Yep. <clears throat> but uh, we're not going to spend anything close to all of it. There's going to be a pretty good chunk left there. Well, we'll see. Um, <laughs> we'll see. And with the thing is, we really have things we want. We need to spend it on. It's just a matter of getting them arranged so that they we get it done efficiently. And I hate calling in somebody from outside at a big price if we can do it kind of in-house and have it be more reasonable for the time yeah. to pay for. Um, we certainly want to do that if we can. Um, <clears throat> well, I think that uh, we've got to act on these things in the next 10 days. Yeah, or soon. Nine days. So I guess I've got to find out when we can get her and I can get the two, she and me together to yeah, and I deal with these things. Might have, let me know when it is because I, I'm around, I can. Oh yes, yeah. I can. Uh, be available. Yeah. Um, so we're going to have to have a special meeting. By June 30. We have it before that. Hmm? Probably should have it before that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's got to be before June 30. And next Wednesday, I'm not available in the afternoon because I, I'm off all day, but I'm not available in the afternoon because I get a dentist appointment. I'm going to be there for a couple hours. And we've got to have two days... 48 hours and all the other stuff to, I mean, well, such a pain in the neck when you don't have a meeting. Um, <clears throat> I should have got after her over the weekend and actually talked to her somehow. Um, I don't know what her story is at the moment, so I haven't uh, talked to her for a while. Uh, they, um, they said they, the highway, they're going to fix both the doors, north and south. Uh, fixed doors. Well, in the sheds to to those covers over the locks. The covers on the locks. Yes. Yeah. They're gonna. Yes, we want to record that we had a another break. At the South Cemetery shed. And the toolbox was stolen. Yep. Uh, we reported to the police. Yes. And highway is adding security. To the padlocks. That is really terrible because we haven't had anything like that in quite a while. Long time. Um, at any rate, uh, I want to. I just want to say that and get it on the tape and yeah. write it on the on the minutes. Um, what else? I think that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else that we need to do right now, or that we can do right now. No. There's things we need to do, but we can't do them. So. Um, 
I, I have been working on the. I did look at papers from the file from, cabinet. Yeah, from the file cabinet, and I have found that there are old, some old records. Um, were there, uh, though not close to as much as I expected we would have in terms of old files, but were there, uh, but a lot of notes from people, I mean, letters from people about a, a lot and Different. things like that. Uh, there were, uh, there are a number of those there, which is good, but most of this is mostly before 1985. From John. Yeah. From Walter Allen. And, and earlier people. Um, not much since then. <clears throat> uh, the, 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 there should be a lot more papers <coughs> someplace from more recent years. I mean, right here. I've got stuff 2013, 2011. Excuse me. And I'm not sure what the date is that the uh, stuff goes back to that we've got here. But Over there. Some things there that go back to 2008. Okay. But not too much. Um, most of it about, starts about 2011. I've got another book at home that I carry to meetings like I do this one, which goes back several more years with, with the information. Almost a piled up paper in it, copies of stuff in it. So we can go through my stuff and make files for some years, at least have some more stuff. Some more records. But I don't have any, much of anything for letters from people or anything like that, uh, death certificates. All I've got is financial papers. But, yeah. And but the only ones that I probably have pretty complete are the income ones, the income sheets. Which, which would, this is all income sheets. Which would give you at least sale of graves and stuff like that. Yeah. People paid for it. And Gives us the sale of graves and the burials and so forth. And so they, it, it is helpful to have that much. Oh, yeah. And because uh, I do have, as I say, I've got some more years before this book um, and another book at home. So I'm huh. just, a lot of that stuff, we'll just start sorting that out, putting it in file the, uh, for some other years in order to cover things that... Uh, we yeah, don't like, seem to have stuff on. Like sale of graves, because if somebody's well, wants I to sell it I still feel that there ought to be some more somewhere. Gives you prices. We haven't oh. ferreted out. Um, <clears throat> at any rate, that's uh, state of that business. Uh, we will uh, have a special meeting as soon as we can to take care of a couple of these pieces of business that we need to. And um, <clears throat> I don't know. With this raise in prices, is, is it should we be out there looking at more p uh, different potential ven vendors? I can't, I really, hmm? I shouldn't yeah. say anything because. I suppose you're right. I can't say anything about it. So. Um, because I am, uh, I mean, 
my first reaction is, well, it's a reasonable thing to increase because it hasn't increased for a long time. The amount of the increase is rather a lot to do in one slot. But uh, I do think that we need to, uh, I need to think a little about it. Um, make sure we're acting prudently. Uh, we are currently taking $800 for a burial. Uh, we've been paying Huila 300 to dig the hole, and sometimes more if he does more of the work, but, uh, and then we pay the superintendent 100 for each burial, uh, and full and burials too. 100 and a half. 100 and a half. So we're paying, we're paying out 450, we have been paying out 450 of that 800. Um, with this increase, we're up to 550 that we'll be paying out. So we also have to consider whether we should increase the 800. If we, if we agree with this, to do this, we have to think about whether we're going to increase the 800. And um, <clears throat> if it was a smaller increase, I would say probably not. But with a $100 increase, I think maybe we need to think about it. That's up to you and Brenna. Huh? That's up to you too. Oh, no, 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 no. This part, what we charge the public, no. Oh. Oh, Whether we oh, decide yeah, okay. to go with this contract oh, yeah. is one thing, but once we've dis made that decision, then you should participate in what we're going to charge the public. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, that's uh, absolutely. That's not, there's no conflict involved there. Um, I am, uh, you want to make a couple of calls and see what other towns are doing? Yeah, I can find out. Yeah, make, make you know, two or three calls around and see what they're, what they're all getting right now to open a grave. Um, of course, we could probably, if we talked to the right undertaker, they could tell us about four, three or four towns just like that. Oh, yeah. They, they, know, they know exactly what yeah. the... And some of them call every year because the Jeff the, Koopman in Northbrook, yeah. he'll call me at the beginning of the year and, and yeah. ask, is there any yeah. increase this yeah. year? Yeah. You can have an increase this yeah. year because he has to... Figure it in his I had, cost uh, too. I had a call from one of them a while back when they were when they knew they had one coming up that they called to verify. Uh, and it may have been him on on the Pierce grave. Yeah, because he calls. I've had him call a few times and yeah. ask yeah. if is there just to make sure if they haven't had any for a while. Yeah, he just checks. From us, I'm then they sure he's call to make sure that we're still at the same price. In when his whatever sheet they go on, I'm sure yeah. he has to know yeah. Yeah. what one chart and what, you know, winter rates or yes. yeah. weekend rates yeah. or what, because yeah. it all yeah. figures into when the people, when the funeral's going to be. Yeah. Um, so we've got to think about that. Uh, our Saturday rate is? 900. 900 is $100 and more. Fifty dollars on the cremation is an extra fifty. Yeah, fifty dollars more on the cremation, a hundred dollars more on the full burial. Full burial. Um, all right. Yeah, we've got to think about that one too. If we're going to have that kind of an increase, uh, we need to think about what we do. Uh, but I'm also interested in what a few other towns are doing, just so we know whether we're still reasonable. Reasonable. Uh, and there are expenses beyond what we normally pay out for a, uh, burials produce expenses in various ways <clears throat> some of them longer term care of the lot etc yeah, you know. yeah. So, uh, or the mess it makes yeah we got to make sure that we keep a reasonable amount of space between those amounts so that we're not too tight. 
Yeah, because all, all it takes is a rainy, uh, heavy rain or something, and then you got a mess. Oh yeah. Um. <clears throat> or the frost coming out. So the raised, a possible raise in charge for the burial will also have to be on our agenda when we have our side meeting. Um, <clears throat> Is there anything else that we need to deal with that you know of? Not off the top of my head. Okay. I can't think of anything. Yes. What time is it now? Three forty. Three forty. Well, I think that's long enough so that I uh, we aren't going to see her. So no. I'll. Uh, we will close this meeting and. Wait for a call to when we get together again. Yeah.